Small businesses with no hope of getting loans and lack capital to sustain them will benefit from the 200 billion shillings government support to small business enterprises. State Minister for Trade David Bahati says government has put aside 200 billion in commercial banks as a merchant grant with an interest rate of 10%. Now we have directed the UDC, uh, Uganda, Uganda National Bureau of Standards to pay attention to support these people. When they come in, let them be cleared as keep the quality, uh, the standards, but clear them with speed. We are also ask, uh, negotiating our markets. We have European market now. We have a Goa market. We have African pre-trade area, a population of 1.2 billion, and also a, a market that imports 547 billion. Uh, to make sure that even they can loan to these businesses uh, at a reduced cost below the, what the market rate is. And so that's, these are some they have also put an innovation fund of 30 billion for innovation and research. Then in the next five years, they should be able to grow up. Those also involved in manufacturing that have been having a problem of land. Now in the next one year, we are developing five industrial parks. And in each industrial park, we shall have land for small, medium enterprises to start their factories. The chairman SMEs Humphrey Mutasa asked all entities involved in businesses to revise rates imposed on these businesses in favor of the operators. When they are speaking about taxation, when they are speaking about bad roads, when they are speaking about bad rentals, when they are speaking about I mean, what affects them, we don't see big companies come through and join the team. No. We want when we speak about small businesses, ah yeah, even they say, what is MTN doing there? Yes, it is supporting MSMEs because if they die, his brand is not going to the villages. The micro, small and medium-sized enterprises day was on the theme, unlocking the potential of micro, small and medium-sized enterprises for post-COVID-19 recovery. Shaidat Nasaku, UBC News.